Do AVRs, automatic voltage regulators, work? This question comes from Brian in Lima, Peru, South America, a place I have always wanted to go to. So maybe someday, Brian. Hey, Paul, I was wondering if an automatic voltage regulator could degrade the sound of my audio system. I've got unstable voltage where I live, especially when power appliances are used nearby, so an AVR might help protect my equipment when those brownouts occur. Thanks and love your channel. Well, thank you, sir. Um, generally, no, I stay away from AVRs of the standard type, and I'll tell you why. Mostly they are uh, variacs, and a variac is, a, volt is a, a variable transformer. And usually, like we have them all over the shop here. There's, uh, is that a variac? I don't see the knob on here. Well, it could be. <clears throat> nope, it's not. But anyway, uh, they're, they're used in labs, they're used in uh, all kinds of home applications. And they are basically just a big transformer with a many taps on it. That, that you can turn a knob and you can turn and, and adjust the voltage. So if you got 108 coming in, you can take the, the variac and turn it up so you got 120. And if you have 130 coming in, you can turn it down and you can get 120, whatever you want. Take very low voltage, make it high, very high voltage, and make it low. I uh, have a lot of experience with variacs, and while they're handy on the bench, and they are a godsend as engineers, um, design power amplifiers because years ago I didn't use a variac and I used to just yeah, I'd design my circuit, I'd go like this and <clears throat> plug it in and just pray that it wouldn't explode in front of me and it did more often than not until I finally found a variac and a current meter and then I could slowly turn it up and if the current was banging off to the side <sighs> I could turn it back down, I could discover the problem and get the stupid power amp to work, right? So, yeah, variacs are very handy, and, uh, and there's a number of different ways to make AVRs, but here's the deal. Long-term voltage stability is not that important. Now, I'm not talking crazy extremes. If you need 120 volts and you're getting 90, well, then that can be very important. But generally, what we see is for, let's say, 120 volts, pick, pick your voltage, it's rare that you'll go down more than 5% of that. So you might vary from 120 down to well, 108, 106. Um, and yes, you'll get a little less power out of a power amp, but generally we don't need all the power we have in the amp. And while it can make a difference, it's not that big of a deal. So if you're going from 120, let's just say, on average, we're going from 120 and we're dropping all the way down to 110. Or tomorrow it's 112 and then it's 122 and 125. Honestly, that doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of difference for those long-term voltage changes. What does matter, and it matters a lot, short-term. When I draw current, like for a whack of a bass drum or the blat of a horn or a subwoofer going crazy uh, with an explosion, that's an instantaneous demand that will drop the line down like this. And that makes a hell of a difference. There, you want rock solid performance. You won't get that with an AVR, regardless of how that AVR works. You just don't get it. So, in fact, the instantaneous transient nature of power demands from equipment is made worse when we have an AVR or an isolation transformer or even a power conditioner placed in the line. Don't, don't do that. You don't need the long-term regulation. What you need is short-term regulation and that happens with one of these beasts. We make small ones. You don't have to have the beast. Um, so th this is what's called an AC regenerator. Our brand name for it's a power plant. Other companies make it. Um, not many, but there are a few other companies that make it. Short-term, instantaneous power is delivered, and long-term, but 
what's important is the short-term instantaneous delivery is rock solid with a power plant. So you won't get a drop of, of oh, I mean, a tenth of a volt is unusual for a power plant. And, and that can be, you know, with the biggest car crash or the, you know, the greatest symphony playing, the greatest crescendos, whatever's happening, even if it's on the other side from your utilities turning on and off, you'll get perfect power both instantaneously and long term. And again, it's the instantaneous that's what we hear. So my advice, do not go with AVRs unless you have a crazy trouble. And I hope you don't because then, yeah, you're going to have to do something. But generally, for long-term stability, we don't care. Uh, Monster Cable it used to make a goofy uh, AVR that was a, a variac with a motor attached to it. And you'd hear it <laughs> back when, when Noel and I we used to uh, have fun together, uh, not in a party mode, but he'd, you know, he'd poke me and I'd poke him in the marketplace. He, he would bring all the monsters over. He was a funny guy. He'd bring all his monsters over, and he's on his Segway and has hip problems, uh, so he has to ride a Segway. And he's got all his, you know, monster sales guys. And he comes over to the PS Audio booth when we used to do Cedia, and uh, and and Noel and I are really good friends for 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 many many years. And he would say, <laughs> "Well, you know, show us how Monster, you know, is really effing up." I won't use that on that. And I'd be happy to. So we had, like, in w in one of these things, we'd had his uh, motorized Variac and then a power plant. And we, we had rigged it up so that the in incoming voltage was, was moving quick. It was, we, and we had lights. So it was going blink, 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 about that fast. And if you, you could see, you know, all right, here's the lights, blink, 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 blink. And uh, when we hook up the monster cable Variac, that thing was going ar, 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 and it was making everything worse, as it does when it's anything, you know, more than a long-term deal. And of course, the power plant was steady, Eddie, and that was the demonstration. But it got a good laugh out of Noel and all the monsters. Um, but anyway, so uh, don't be worried about long-term power variations unless they're extreme and it's the short-term ones that you really want to focus on and power plants, be they big or small, will take care of that. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Bye.